here uh, this morning and I'm delighted to be able to uh, support the Refugee Council here in, in, um, in appealing to the British government, the UK government, to end this um, policy of making uh, asylum seekers at a certain point in the asylum process to make them destitute because it really is quite inhuman that you know all, all financial support is excluded from all public public funds they're, they're, they're excluded from having housing even even sometimes their friends aren't allowed to take them in they depend on night shelters on food parcels it really is it really is unacceptable in uh, modern day modern day uh, Scotland uh, and, and England throughout Britain. I, I was just thinking my, my parents and grandparents were immigrants coming to Scotland after the First World War. They weren't called asylum seekers, and they were, um, but they might have been if it was today because they came for, they came because of, the, of war and the effects of war and economic hardship. Much like Bruno here and others, they've come for the same reasons. My, my grandparents and parents weren't made homeless, they weren't, made, they weren't forced into just destitution, they were given a chance, they got to work, they got work, they got housing. I think we should be giving everybody that chance. And um, uh, so I feel quite, I feel very, quite strongly about that. So I, I hope that the, the government will rethink its current, its current approach, which is an approach of really of using destitution as, as in an enforcement policy or a deterrence policy. And really that isn't, it's, it's not, it's not acceptable really. It's not nice, it's not, it's not good, uh, it's, not, it's not human. So I hope they'll change what, what they're doing.